All right, so let's take a look at the unit two review, the second page. We'll work our way through these problems. So in number five, uh, let's see, the measure of a complement of A is three more than twice the measurement of A. Okay, uh, find A and its complement. And you can do this using trial and error, uh, which some of you may be able to find the right answer because it turns out to be a nice number. But uh, if, it, if the answer was like, 37.395. There's no way you're going to guess and check that. So let's figure out a way to solve it. So um, what I'm going to do is, you know that you're relying on measurement of angle A. I'm going to call that X. And then I'm going to call the complement, whoops, why isn't this ready? Complement of A. is going to be three more than two times x, right? Because this is x. So it's three more, so three plus two times x. But you know that a and its complement should add up to 90, right? So if we add these, a and its complement are be 90. And then I've got to add this and this. So I've got a regular three plus 1x and then two more x's, 3x's. So let me continue this here. So that's going to be, if we subtract 3, we get uh, 87. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, that's right. 87 equals 3x. And then if we divide both sides by 3, we'll get x equals 29. Uh, so that's the measurement of A, right there. So measurement of A, let me circle this part instead. And then the complement, remember, you could do it two ways. You could do 90 minus 29, or you could plug in the 29 into 3 plus 2x. 3 plus 2 times 29, which ends up being, uh, what is that, 61? So A is 29, complement 61 degrees. Uh, number six, we're trying to solve, we got a bunch of vertical angles and straight angles here, so let's just kind of work our way through it. Um, so let's see, solve for X, Y, and Z. Uh, what's probably the easiest thing to set? We know that this angle's gotta be 83 because it's vertical with this one. We know that this one here is vertical with the 36, so those guys are going to be the same. So 3x could equal 36. So when you solve that, you get x is 12. So right away, we've got x. So then this one is 12 plus y, and this one is 36. Um, what can we do here? So you could do a couple of things. One thing to notice is that that's a straight angle, so it adds up to 180. And I've got a 36 and 83 and a 12 plus y adds up to 180. So we could now set up this equation. 180 equals 36 plus 83 plus 12 plus y. Uh, and let's see, what does that work out to? This is going to be 131 plus y equals 180. So then if you solve for y, you end up with 49. So now we know y is 49. So 12 plus 49 ends up being... Actually, I don't even think that matters. We don't need to know how big that angle is. We just need y is 49. And then down here, we know 2y plus z is 83. So I'll highlight that red. 2y plus z equals 83. So z, well, y is 49. So 2 times 49 plus z equals 83. So that's going to be 98 plus z equals 83. And then if you subtract 98 from both sides, z is negative 15, which looks weird at first, but if you add it to 2y, and 2y is really, uh, 
98 degrees. It doesn't matter if you, said, if you take away 15. It's still a positive angle of 83. So there's that one. So let me move this a little bit. Okay. The next one, 7. So 7 says solve for x and y, and you'll notice there are two terms. They both have x's and y's in them. So that makes me think you're going to have to solve a system of equations, you know, using elimination or combination like that one homework probably did. So uh, one of the things I see right off the bat, this is 30. It's vertical angles 30 because vertical angles are congruent. So 2y oh, minus 2x is going to be 30. And uh, what else can we do? Let's see. We know that this whole thing here is 180. And since this part's 30, the leftover on for the 4y plus 5x is going to be 150. So then I know 4y plus 5x will be 150. So uh, let's see. The goal is to get rid of one of the letters somehow. So if I took this equation and multiplied it by negative 2, then you would have a negative 4y and a positive 4y, and then I could just add straight down. So let's do that. I'm going to multiply both sides of this by negative 2. So this equation is going to turn into negative 4y and then negative 2 times negative 2x will be plus 4x and then negative 2 times 30 will be negative 60 and then down below it I got 4y plus 5x equals 150. And then we can just add straight down, right? So if I add straight down, the y's cancel, and I'm left with 9x equals 90. So then divide by 9, and you get x is 10. So that part's done. And then to get uh, y, we can just plug it into either equation. So let's take the first one here, because that's a little bit easier. 2y minus 2x, which is 2 times 10, equals 30. So this ends up being uh, 20 here. So if I add the 20 over, 2y ends up being 50. So y is 25. By the way, th there is another way to do this. Notice this equation right here. That actually, you could divide both sides by 2 and end up with y minus x equals 15. And then it's not too hard to just get y by itself. So y equals 15 plus x. And then if you like the substitution method better, you could then take that y equals 15 plus x and substitute it in right here into the other equation. So you get 4 times 15 plus x, and then plus 5x equals 150. And if you solve this one out, you end up getting x equals 10, and then you can plug that back into here to get the y is 25. So there are two different methods, right? So this is method, we'll say method two versus method one. Whoop. And on the test, I'm not gonna make you pick one way over another, you get to choose. If you like one way over another, then that's fine. Um, I generally tend to like this one better, uh, the, the add the two equations together to get rid of a letter because then you never really run into bad fractions whereas this way sometimes you do so okay uh, and then number eight here let's see what we got we got SR this thing bisects ASR no SR bisects ASB so since that that means that this gets cut right in half ASB is 90, so since it gets cut in half by SR, we know that this is 45 and 45. Uh, LSA, 
is 40. That's already listed here. Uh, and find the rest. Find a bunch of other stuff. So let's fill in the angles first, and then we can just figure out what 8 is asking. So let's see. Vertical angles are going to be congruent. So if this one's 40, this one over here is 40. Since this one right here is 45, right opposite it is 45. And then same thing goes for the other 45. And then this angle right here, we can figure out a couple different ways. Probably the easiest way is all of that has to add up to 180. So I've got 40, 45, and 45. So that's 40 plus 90 is 130. That means that we have 50 degrees left over here. And if that one's 50, this one's also 50. So uh, we got everything in terms of our angles, uh, the small angles. So now it's just a matter of filling in the blanks over here. So ASR, let's see, ASR is 45. ESP, ESP is also 45. Uh, LSO, so L to S to O is 50. O, S, Y, let's see, O to S to Y is 45 plus 45 plus 40, so 90 plus 40 is 130. B, S, Y, let's see, B, S, Y, where's B? Here's B to S to Y, so that's 50. And then L, S, Y is just straight across, that's going to be 180. So I hope that helps a little bit.